Like, what do I do with Blossom Interot? You check your water because most likely you're either delivering too much or too less and your plant will tell you. And that's why it always goes back to just look at your plant. It'll tell you what to do. We'll go over issues in drip irrigation. One, you wanna make sure your spikes offset from your plant or want it on top. But you can see that these guys aren't um, dripping. So we'll pull it out here. Sorry, I didn't bring my tripod. So you can, you can see that there's no water coming out, okay? So this could be due to normal clogs. Now this system back here, you have two little uh, nuts. So this one goes to that one. Easiest fix that I found is pop this off. See, there's no water coming in there and it looks kind of like corroded. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I cannot, so we're gonna get the easy tripod set up. Hopefully I don't destroy my phone. So you easily just by hand and then you free the water up like that. And then see how it's flowing. It's got a good flow rate. It's not leaking out the, the bottom. And then you just cover this up like that. Ta-da! And happy drip emitters. Super easy. If that doesn't work, you jam this middle uh, rod right down in the center. You just like poke, 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 poke. And you just jam it like right in there. And then you free it up, get that gunk out of there and then get your plants. Cause I was noticing it last week and I was like, hey, why are these plants like so short? While well, the front of the house, it was a lot bad. So this is a pain in the butt about this type of drip system, but because it's such high power, um, it works. Now, the other way that we could tell that there's something going on, when you fill these bags, these are uh, 24 liter bags. This is why I really like uh, using uh, cocoa bags is, if I can pick up my plant bag, there's no water in there. Way too much dry back. So here there's no water in there. I also was noticing that there was a lot of um, like uh, blossom in rot start. Well, that's because there was no water. You can see right in there. So this, this confirms you check your water because most likely you're either delivering too much or too less. And your plant will tell you. And that's why it always goes back to just look at your plant. It'll tell you what to do. Prepare, look around, observe, because when you have these issues, you need to be able to troubleshoot them ASAP and figure out why your crop isn't getting fed and or getting the water that it needs. So let's go rescue this fertigation. All right, so we go over inline valves for this because I just made a huge mistake that, that you know, it's not really bad. I just fed my lettuce over there and I didn't feed my peppers here. And I was wondering why am I not seeing drip on my camera? Well, this is why you want to make sure that all your valves are in line. That's an inline, inline. So we know it's off, we know it's on, you know, mains on. That's mini greenhouse. That one's just a pain in the butt because it's like stuck in there and it's plastic to metal. So now we can see that we're starting to get everything in here. And this is just a basic mix. There's like nothing too special, but you can see that it, it's really uh, sucking up all in there. This is like the easiest method that I said, you get a 20 liter bucket and then you just fill it up. And then as long as it's, um, pretty much not messed up. See like right there, see it gets like um, clogged and cloated. So as I like pause the video, just shake it out. And this is why spending money on the water soluble fertilizers is so important because now you can get it. But now I've just introduced air into my system and that doesn't always uh, help. I also have my uh, running off water right in there. So that just makes sure that we have easy water. So I'm gonna put a little bit more water in this and then make sure I flush the, the drip. Let me grab that right now. Where is it? I'll just pull. There it is. Oh, that's because my hose is in my lettuce over there. Okay, let's talk about uh, fertigation and fertilizer and why it pays to follow my channel. Give me a like, a subscribe, comment down below. Ask me why I use this fertilizer in this particular mix. And together we can grow this channel all right <laughs> jokes aside jokes aside all right so you have your basic com uh, components you have your nitrogen and calcium you also have nitrogen uh, phosphorus and potassium and then you have a sulfur and a, a potassium you have your iron again there's different levels of chelated iron that's a six percent and then you have your magnesium so this one is really good to get the plant to uptake the material. This one's good to create uh, vegetative growth 
and provide calcium. This is an overall blend that we boost by adding more nitrogen because it's only a 4, 18, 38. And then this provides the filling. As you can see right there on the label, you got a pineapple, got like an orange, got an avocado, you got a banana. It's probably telling you, hey, this is for fruiting crops, right? So the other thing too that's really important is that SOP is water soluble, it makes it very easy to mix in there. Same with your uh, chelated iron, it'd be uh, no uh, different. So we'll unveil it. I don't think I've unveiled my super secret Batman layer. I know, be impressed about how terrible it looks. All right, anyway, so you gotta organize everything and this is one of the easier ways um, make sure you always don't worry about PPE care, you know, maybe put your gloves wherever, right? But you want to make sure everything's laid out in a very uh, organized uh, manner. This is our little uh, bodega that just has like a tiny little bit fraction of how we organize our fertilizers, our amendments, our pesticides, our seeds, and our storage. Not everybody's fortunate enough to be able to have this type of spot. So the best way is get a rack and you get a rack and you start with your heavier stuff at the bottom that uh, we technically probably wouldn't need that other than stability. You just put a rack and you put all your heavy fertilizers in the bottom. I also put it where it's my restocks. So if I've restocked anything, I put it down there. I know this is a bunch of nonsense and I should take like a better uh, picture. I'll probably edit it later. At least we'll, we'll focus here. That looks so nice right there, right? It looks so nice. So you want to just make sure that everything's readable, easy to go through. Now, do you always need liquid uh, magnesium, liquid copper, liquid phosphorus, iron, right? This is no different than the stuff there. This is only a 5% iron. It's the same thing, right? This is our environmentally friendly uh, spray. And then we have our Dr. Bronner's, which is great to some extent, but you know, this one does pretty much the same thing because it's a sticker spreader, which is important. And then you have your crop boost. Then you have all your seeds, your PPE. And then you have your other seed thing. You have uh, baking soda, which is great to neutralize acidity. And then you have all your other uh, bleaches and alcohols set aside there. So I just kind of want to get like a little behind the scenes that it doesn't always have to be pretty to get the job done. It just has to be uh, able for everybody to that's working on the farm to be able to figure out where stuff is at a moment's notice. So this is one of the most important things. I don't mind giving it away because it's not a secret. This has been out there forever. This is kind of your basic uh, three, two, one. Um, you would do three parts master blend, two parts calcium nitrate, and then one part magnesium sulfate and potassium sulfate, and then just a tiny little bit of iron. There is iron inside of here, but sometimes you have to boost it based on your plants. Some plants just need more iron. That's why you have your amendments there. So you have to be able to calibrate based on what your plant is telling you. If it's saying, hey, I need this, you better be able to give it to it. And the best way to do it is through a chelated um, uh, formula mixture. Sorry, pause there. Let's make a sure there. You can also change this around. Instead of doing three for master blend, you could do three for this if you want more vegetative. So you do three parts calcium nitrate, two parts master blend, one part, one part. So that, that's pretty much like for every 30 grams of calcium nitrate, you would do 20 grams of master blend and then 10 grams uh, magnesium sulfate and then 10 grams potassium sulfate is not always in that order uh, it's just that's the basic one most people actually use a 5 12 26 master blend i like the extra potassium because i can save a little bit on this funny enough this actually isn't that expensive the most expensive out of this is this bag but this bag drives it and i've noticed that if i need to get certain growth out of my plant it's kind of one of the best uh, and you're not always going to have access to this, but as long as you have some sort of soluble uh, fertilizer, one of the big ones that we use is uh, Crop Giant. That one's pretty good. That one's actually out of the U.S. too. The company that imports it is, I think it's Adelies. Yeah, there it is. This is the one that imports it here in the Philippines. These are one of the things. Now, one of the issues that I do have with those type of boxes is they make it cheaper to buy that box than to buy that bag which actually should be the opposite. It should be cheaper to buy a whole sack than to buy a kilo box. Who knows why they do that? 
but that is the most frustrating part that I find here because when you start doing even the little bit of agriculture that I do, which is not that much, it's like maybe like 1.5 hectares, it is not big, I go through tons of these sacks. I've only been able to save money because I understand the three, two, one formula. So that's why I really wanted to kind of go over today, kind of give you a look behind the scenes. Again, cleanliness matters, you know, like you want to make sure you have a pallet there. You know, you want to do this and set everything up for success. You want to have all your amendments here. You have your scale there. You have everything laid out. It is clean, but it's not perfection. But this is the real reality of farming is it's never going to be perfection. You just want it to be functional and be able to get the job uh, done. So with that, we'll let you guys go. You guys get a last look at, at this uh, fertilizer. But this is one of the best things, whether you're growing lettuce, tomatoes, any type of fruiting crops. This is the best formula. And then it's as easy as three, two, one. Very easy. You guys have a good day. That's what I said. You just have to watch my channel. Give me a like, subscribe, a share, comment down below, ask me any questions, follow me, then you can definitely grow anything.